Hello and welcome to another Final Cut tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you this sort of weird glitch effect. So let's jump into Final Cut and I'll show you how to do it. So you drop your clips into the timeline. Both of these clips are royalty free from a website called Vidivo. I'll drop the links to both of these clips so that you can download it and have a play yourself. It's worth saying before we start that if you have a clip with um, a lot of negative space at the top and different at the bottom, just like this balloon clip here or like the skateboarding clip where the subject is easily differentiated from the rest of the background, it makes this effect a lot easier. So copy and paste a clip and stick it over the top of the other one. Then search for the effect of bad TV, search for the effect prism, add them both onto the top clip. Now you can mess about with the amounts on each of these and change the static type and things like that, but I find it looks fine just leaving it as it is. Then you next go to bad TV and click on the color mask. You then click on the subject that you want the glitched effect to happen. Now you can change the softness on the color mask. I do find anywhere between 25 and 40 works. Now, to get rid of the prism effect from the rest of the background, what you'll need to do is drop a shape mask over the subject and then you'll need to keyframe that or if you're lucky enough to have a lot of space free like in this clip, then you won't need to keyframe it. I've sped these clips up and then what I like to do is choose parts of the clip where the effect will be on and then other parts where the effect will be off and then it gives it that sort of glitching effect. So all you do is um, select the part that you want the effect on and then hit the blade tool and cut the clip there. Then you find the next part where you want it to be off, blade tool, cut the clip there and then all you do is turn the effects off on part of the clip and not the other part of the clip. I'll show you here. Okay, now let's do it again with this skateboarder clip. Again, you can see that there's a decent separation between the sky in the background, the skater and the ground there. So that makes it a lot easier for this to work. So copy the clip, paste it, put it along the top of the other clip. Then we want to search for bad TV and we want to search for prism. Stick them both on the top clip. Then add the color mask, click on the subject and you can see that the effect has been added to him. Then we want to search and put on the shape mask. We want the shape mask to be around the subject. So it just shows the effect on him and not the background. Then with this one, we're going to have to keyframe frame by frame. So I go down and select the keyframe points on every single one of these, the radius, the curvature, the opacity, the transforms, everything, just so that way you don't get it wrong. Then you use the right arrow to move the frame along one and then you move the shape along with it. So you do that for every single frame of the clip. I'll speed this up now. And then when you're done, we can just play that through. So again, what I like to do is blade and turn the effects off, blade, turn the effects back on, blade, turn the effects back off. I think it looks better that way. So there you go. Another quick, easy tutorial in Final Cut. Uh, I hope you find it useful. If you ever do use any of these tutorials, by the way, and you make a video, leave me a comment, drop me a link to the video. I'd be glad to watch it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.